little bit about your symptoms and how all of this started. I started getting cramps in my leg when I walk at work or anything. And it just kept getting worse. So uh, my doctor I recommended a surgeon who I went and saw and they did tests on me to find out where blockage was. Um, and then he told me about the procedure where he'd have to cut my leg open all the way down and either put a vein in it, a plastic type vein, or take one from me and reroute it. Well, I didn't want to get cut open. So uh, I went on for several years. I got some medicine to you know, help other veins open up. Then uh, my doctor, Strebel, recommended Dr. Syed said that there was a new procedure. I finally, it got so bad that I couldn't sleep. I called Dr. Syed. I said, look, I've got to do something. I don't care if they cut me open or what. So anyway, I saw him, and uh, it was on a Thursday. He said, uh, I'm going to put you in the hospital Tuesday, and we're going to do the procedure. Can you walk me through your procedure? Well, I'm in about 5.30 in the morning. They prepped me for all this procedure. Uh, I don't know if they gave me something to relax me, I believe. And I was awake during the procedure. It really didn't hurt other than maybe the initial cut, you know, when they got in, in there. Um, I like the fact that, I mean, I, I was awake and I, I couldn't really feel him even going down my vein. How soon did you see improvement? Uh, within a couple of days I was in the hospital. Hell, I was walking to the bathroom and so forth. Uh, I had still had some uh, patches and stuff on it, you know. I couldn't take a shower right away, but as soon as I could, I did. And, you know, uh, they put me in a wheelchair and walked me out of, the, or took me out of the hospital. When I got home, I walked myself. I could have walked out of the hospital. That's how easy it was. Did you know what to expect? Did you know that that's what it was going to be like after? I didn't think I'd get out or walk that quick, you know. I didn't feel any pain or nothing, you know, other than where they went in. And, uh, you know, within a week or so, that went away. So, I'm just careful about, you know, trying not to lift too much or anything. I'm ready to go, you know, like I'm ready to do things. So I had to just make sure I didn't do overdo it. Could you contrast for me the before and after of your abilities? Well, it got so bad that I couldn't walk other, maybe 40 feet down my driveway. So if you'd let this go, what would have, what would have happened? I would have lost my leg. Well, he said, you know, I had no pulse in my foot at all. Now I've got a strong pulse. You know, it didn't turn blue or nothing. It was just cold. And he said it would eventually. I would have lost it. What has been the biggest change in your life now? Like I go camping a lot. I said, I'm the happiest camper in this <laughs> earth. <laughs> because I can, I can do stuff now. That for six years or so, I couldn't do. I was just, I was glad my doctor recommended him. Gave me a way out, other than surgery. <laughs>